Hello, my name's Yvette Stanley and I'm Ofsted's National Director for Regulation and Social Care. We've recently published a report on the impact that the pandemic is still having on the children's social care sector. The findings come from our inspection reports and our inspectors' insights. In particular, we focused on the impact on children and families, sector staff, local authority children's services and the children's social care providers more widely. Throughout the pandemic, those in the sector have kept children and families' needs front and centre. You've adapted your ways of working to have maximum impact in a very challenging context. You continued to care for children, making them safer, and to work with families to achieve positive change. We've got a range of findings. We were worried about children hidden from view during the pandemic. Some children were very much less visible to professionals. Not all services have returned to pre-pandemic levels, which may be leaving vulnerable children experiencing harm. We've been worried about children's mental health and we know that some children, their mental ill health has deteriorated during the pandemic. We're seeing increasingly complex needs among the children who require support. Local authorities and providers are trying to fill these gaps, but need greater support from what we know are stretched mental health services for children. We've been worried about care leavers and the pandemic has compounded a number of the existing issues that affect them as a group negative impact on their well-being, they were already at risk of becoming isolated and relationships and support networks were further disrupted. And we're seeing greater number of care leavers than we would have expected before the pandemic who are not in stable employment or education. The pressures on that vulnerable group have grown. We continue to be concerned about the lack of residential places in the right place to meet the needs of the children who need them particularly in relation to secure provision. Workforce issues continue. The recruitment and retention of sufficient staff with experience is an issue both for children's social care, more widely, and for social workers. The loss of experience and qualified staff is impacting, particularly on the residential care sector, with an increased turnover of managers. Some changes in the ways of working have been valuable and have persisted since lockdown restrictions were lifted. Professionals have however recognised the vital importance of face-to-face -face work with children and families. But many other tasks that don't require that direct contact, they've been able to utilise virtual means for doing so. We are all working to ensure that where learning supports our work with children and families, that we utilise it. But we'll never forget the vital importance of getting that direct contact with children. So I'd like to end by thanking you for everything you are doing for children and families. Thank you.